Let's go to the Asbury Revival. Roll the clip. Asbury University. Asbury University. Asbury University. A revival lasting not hours, but days. The worship attracting thousands of visitors. We're calling it a historic movement. We're gonna go ask some students what God is doing. Come with me. Ladies and gentlemen, Asbury Revival, in one word. Revival. I'm sorry, I just got distracted. <laughs> you kind of just walk into the room, just this feeling of like overwhelming love and joy. Seeing God move in mysterious ways, there are people being healed. Felt the Lord again say, pray for her. And at the end, she was just taking like so many deep breaths. I feel like this is the first time I can breathe. For the naysayers out there that say, it's not a revival, it's not real. Uh, yeah, it is. You kind of forget everything that you're worrying about. My name is Carolyn. And I'm so thankful for the revival and for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Last question, do you think revival's coming for Gen Z? Yes. Do you think it's here? Yes. I am so excited that God is moving in Gen Z. A lot of talk about a nameless and faceless generation in the midst of a revival. I think a lot of times when we think about ministry, we think about who's on the platform. But there's a revival that's got nothing to do with the microphone. The next who's who in the Christian zoo. It's just a widespread, massive young people so alive for Jesus. So we're going to find out. Is Asbury the start of this? I'm hoping yes. I really believe yes. On February 8th, a regularly scheduled chapel service never ended. And it's not because of celebrities or professional musicians. This has been a nameless, titleless movement. 100 decibels. That's how loud this chapel gets when everybody's singing. To put into words what God is doing there is really hard, but I'm going to say three things. One, Gen Z is the most anxious, depressed, mentally ill generation. You've already heard the speeches, and that's not a surprise to Jesus. It seemed like it was at the top of his priority list to deal with Gen Z's anxiety the minute you step into that room. I really wish that my story was unique, but anxiety and depression have become the calling cards of the younger generation. My two biggest things in revival that God has revealed to me is one, my God is bigger than I thought he was, because my God is bigger than my depression, and my God is bigger than my anxiety. Personally, for me, my dad passed away over a year ago. But when I walked into Asbury, this older lady beelined it for me. And she just started declaring over me, God is trying to teach you that he is your father, that all you need is him. Tears. Two, real deal repentance. There was this bench that went across the stage and the older generation was kneeling behind it. If you wanted to repent, go up to this bench and kneel and the older generation would pray for you. What was insane is there would be these loud moments of singing and when they would come down, you could hear people weeping in the audience with this spirit of repentance. The night that I was there, 30 people gave their lives to Jesus. It's time to repent and believe. Repentance will refresh your life, ask you to respond. It will not be the hardest thing you do for your faith. If you come off your knees and stand if that is you. Honestly, yeah. Asbury is catalytic. The fact that Jesus chose to have revival in a town that couldn't host it long term. Two stoplights, there's a subway, a grocery store, there's barely anything there. They almost called a state of emergency because the infrastructure could not handle this amount of people. But this is not an accident. Asbury is inspiring the globe to press into Jesus for revival where they're at. Cool. What do you think is the next thing that will happen? I think like there's been so many thousands of people that have come to Hughes. I mean, if each one can just make another disciple, then that's thousands more people whose salvation has changed. I love it. Like and subscribe as for like and like like and subscribe if you want to see more content of what God's doing across the nation. Next week, I'm going to Europe. And I'll be with university students that are all pressing in for revival, and we will see what takes place.